So this is the very first NPC that you're probably going to meet while joining EUT. It's a tutorial NPC. And what this guy basically does is, well, what he's intentionally does or just plays there for. It's really help you guide on um, like what to do, like what's my ability, where do I start, how do I use my ability, where can I go. Um, I wouldn't say it's that helpful due to the devs not really changing like the tutorial NPC text related to the map because right as of right now it's really inaccurate like if you say where can I go devil's palm really doesn't exist and this information's inaccurate <laughs> yeah they gotta change this so the Jotar Kujo NPC kind of helps you get start platinum the world so if you find a mysterious hat you have to give it to him it gives you a quest and once you complete that quest you get start plot the world so once you get a uh, saint's left arm and you want to tusk act for for a while now once you use saint's left arm you get tusk act one and then you go to this guy called johnny joe star and he help he assists you in getting tusk act two by giving you a quest which is Letting on your nails for 500 seconds, which it's gonna take you a long time, so good luck. As of right now, Gaster's quest is really bugged. They still haven't fixed it yet, and that's the reason why you don't really see a lot of Gaster users. And even if they did fix the Gaster quest, he's kind of pretty bad for PvP considering that, like, all his. The only good move he has is just integrity. You just spam those. Uh, razor blades, that's kind of basically it. All the other moves are pretty inaccurate. If you ever want Yon or Yasuo, this is the guy you talk to. His name's Umbra, and he gives you two parts of a quest. The first part's going to be uh, do damage, I think, and obtain U coins, which basically can farm the dugs off. Then the second part of the quest is to basically fight him in a boss battle in which you go over there and you summon him and once you're done doing that you come back to him with the ancient sword or I mean the ancient sword or the Ascana mask and you can get Yonagasu this NPC over here assists you in getting Dawn so basically what you want to do is have a Tales of the Universe in your hand Talk to him, he'll give you a quest, and once you're done with the quest, there should... Yeah, okay, yeah. Uh, once you're done with the quest, I think you talk back to him, and then you go over here, and you, you grab the Dawn Sword out of the stone, and you basically get to get, get Dawn. So, this guy standing right next to the tree, like an edgy 16-year-old kid he is, he assists you in helping getting you the world. By giving you a quest, you're only able to talk to him if you have Shadow Dio. And once you're done, I don't think you have to find him. I'm not sure. You might have to find him again if you're done with the quest. But once you're done, he gives you Joseph's blood, use it on Shadow Dio, and you get the world. This one's pretty self explanatory. Gojo gives you Gojo as a spec, but you're gonna need to pay him 100,000 U coins in order for for him to give you the quest in order to get Gojo. Now the Goku NPC has a lot of vi varieties of what like he can do. So first you're gonna need 7 Dragon Balls in order to talk to him. And once you get 7 Dragon Balls, you get teleported to Shenron, which is the dragon. And he'll, he'll basically fulfill a wish. So like you, you can get Reaper. Broly, Goku, Dio's Diary, 200,000 coins, or a Cursed Orb. If you choose Dio's Diary, I, I'm going to be concerned for your well-being. <laughs> you serious? This NPC is also very self-explanatory. You talk to him. No requirements, no specific requirements to get the quest from him. I'm pretty sure. 
you just talk to him, he gives you a quest, you complete it, and you get a yo yo, which you can get. You can use it on like a stand list and get Killua. So, what the deal NPC does here is that if you talk to him of the world, he'll give you a quest on the road to Nocturnus. And basically, once you're done with that, you, talk, you go back to him, you talk to him, he gives you evil fragments, you can turn the world into Nocturnus. Now, if you talk to him with Star Platinum Prime, he'll actually give you a quest for Soul. But as of right now, it's currently broken due to time stop kills, uh, plus Portia not being able to like register in as like the kills. So, as of right now, Soul's temporarily unobtainable, but they're going to fix this in the next patch. So the Pooch NPC allows you to reset your stand and and gives you two quest lines. One with Sea Moon and Mid in Heaven and the other being the World Over Heaven. Uh both of them are a little bit difficult. We should be able to manage. This guy over here is a daily quest NPC. Uh very self-explanatory, gives you a daily quest and you get use shards, which you can use in the shop to buy crates skins in a daily store and as of right now he's like the only person that gives that's like the yush yushart obtainability all right so this one's pretty self-explanatory i don't even think i need to explain this one it literally says ability storage above you want me to like elaborate further you click on him, you like put your stand in here anywhere you want, it saves it, and yeah, the off chance of a uh, baby being set back. This is the last guy you talk to in order to get a plant shaper. <clears throat> Once you complete all the quests, you talk to him, and he gives you a planet essence? Something essence. And then you basically get a planet shaper. So after going through three stage, no, the five stages of grief, once you get your test act three, you're going to talk to this guy and he'll make you go through the five stages of grief again and he'll say, get me an eye. Now obviously getting the eye is hell of a lot easier than getting test act three because I got it in like 16 tries and now you don't have to walk 10 miles all the way to the desert and worry about losing your health. You just go over here and grab the sand piles and they're just... They're not even far apart from each other, so I don't want to hear people complain. So Delta Cult NPC allows you to get Plant Shaper by starting off to talking with this guy, Delta Cult. He spawns near this train station spawn every 30 minutes, and once you talk to him, he reads the Bible for you, click the most interesting ones, and then you get a quest. Basically, you have to what? Okay, never mind. I thought that, okay, this was harder than I thought it would be. Then, basically, it gives you a quest line, and you have to complete it. Now, obviously, the next thing you're going to do is once you're done talking to the Delta Cult guy, you're going to come to the Delta Cult Delta Captain next to Spray Merle. You talk to him, and then you just go to the dialogue. And then he gives you two items. Get a tome. What the? F okay, this is interesting. And you get a transmitter as well. I think this uh, helps you find. What's it called? Shards? Hey, so you see that deal guy over there? Yeah, so that's the boss you kill for certain types of quests. Such as like Jotaro and I for Gore. Because my memory isn't good. But yeah. Kill him for a deal bone, a deal diary, and I think that's basically it. Sometimes you can do it for daily quests, but his improved AI just makes it so much harder to do stuff. You can farm these guys for free easy cash since they're usually They're usually what they're here for. They give like 1,000 coins per, I'm not sure, I forgot, and they're usually used in some quests.
Here we have the shop NPC and well, he's self-explanatory as well. You talk to him, you say yes, he could sell you too many specs, an arrow, a bone, and a bike. Basically pretty much it. Alright, in this part of the video we're gonna be moving on to stock images because the images you're gonna see will be too long to take from in-game. It's too time consuming. But first one we have up is the Saint. So what he does is when you're grinding Tusk Act 2 Dark Determination. Oh, once you hit that 3% chance, he'll pop up saying, hey, you wanna go to Tusk Act 3? And you click yes. And the second thing he does is, when you're doing the solo quest and you kill Dio as the last quest portion, you'll, or he'll pop up and say, hey, you wanna get soul? But you also have to have the Tales of the Universe out in order to get him, so have it ready when you're done killing Dio and have that pulled out and click yes to get soul. So the Boa Hancock NPCs is the boss that you fight in order to get Meryl Meryl and she spawns on another island which you can go to the beach, there'll be a boat there, uh, press E on the boat or hold it down, you can teleport to the island, looks like a heart shaped one and she spawns there every 35 minutes and if you're doing like, if multiple people are fighting it, whoever does the most damage to it will get the Meryl fruit once she's killed. Now. Don't knock her off because that will actually bug her and make her not spawn. So Sokka NPC is also self-explanatory. You talk to her, you get the quest. Now in order to get to her, you need to find a portal or a mysterious gap. It spawns around the map every 10 minutes of 80% chance to spawn. So good luck on trying to get the portal because it took me a while as well. And yeah, you basically talk to her, she gives you a quest for Sakuya, and once you complete it, you get a watch, and you're done. Here we have the Umbra boss NPCs that you're gonna need to fight once you are on the part 2 of the Umbra quest. And this guy has a tremendous amount of HP, well not, not a lot of HP, but he does a tremendous amount of damage if you're soloing him. So I advise bringing a few people with you. Uh, once you kill him, he drops an Ascana Mask and Ancient Sword, which is in, you use in the obtain ability of Yonin Yasuo. The problem here is that you need to do the uh, Umber Quest two times if you're going to want to like get both specs, which I think is kind of dumb, because that's way too time consuming. But yeah. So this is going to be the end of the video. If you guys enjoyed the video, please drop a like and subscribe, and I'll see you guys later. Peace. Actually, you're going to drown. Okay, I'll just pick the most topless one. Nah, bro, my parrots can fly. My dog can teleport. Ah, fuck you! Yo, is she, bro? Did you take one? <laughs> <laughs> Damn, bro! <laughs> <Let's go show. laughs> <Let's go show. laughs> oh, I'm walk all the way back! <laughs>